SQL Server maintains a buffer pool into which it reads data pages when data must be retrieved. Data modifications are not made directly to disk, but are made to a copy of the page and the buffer cache. Buffer pool and buffer cache are used synonymously here. Each page is 8 KB. If the page is on disk, SQL Server has to retrieve that page from disk and put it into the pool. Once that page has been moved into the buffer pool, it can then be fed to the query. All roads lead to and from the buffer pool. There is no direct access for any transaction directly to disks. When one of these pages in the buffer pool is modified, it's called a dirty page. That page can be altered multiple times in the buffer pool before being flushed to disk. Flushing pages to disk is mostly done via a checkpoint. When pages are flushed to disk, the entire page is flushed. The buffer manager only performs reads and writes to the database. Other file and database operations such as open, close, extend, shrink, etc. are performed by a database manager and file manager components. All IOs are performed asynchronously which allows the calling thread to continue processing while the I/O operation takes place in the background.